we will miss the way he swayed, cajoled, and persuaded us all with his rich and booming voice, with his charming words, his clever turn of phrase, and his wonderful sense of humor. We remember a leader of substantial stature who engaged everyone with deep respect and dignity. To the Mtembu family, it could not have been easy when you received the news. We know that he was a person who was open about the tragedies that befell his family and himself, particularly when his daughter passed away and when he lost his mother. And his openness in many ways was showing solidarity with the other South African men and women and children who had gone through pain, suffering, and hardship. And he was essentially saying to us, I know what it feels like. I've been through it too. I am with you, and you don't need to feel alone. He took us as the nation into his confidence, and he permitted us in his private space to share in his own sorrows. And today, we, the people of South Africa, mourn with you, the Mtembu family, as an extended family. For he was not just our leader. We claim him, too, as our family member and as our brother. As we pay homage to him today, let us remember him for what he was, a servant of the people who loved the people of this great land and put them above love of party, of leader, or of self. It is not enough to eulogize our departed comrade. We must complete what he was able was not able to finish in his own lifetime. The cause of renewing and rebuilding his beloved movement of restoring our nation's faith in this government that he served so loyally and of building an ethical state that is led by men and women of honor, of integrity, of principle, and of conviction. Minister Mtembu was a kind and gentle soul, but, wet, but when it came to corruption, to self-serving leadership, and to brazen abuse of power, you would see another side of him. He was never deceived by the false smiles and empty promises of those who sought to enrich themselves at the expense of the poor or the weak. He called them out, and he didn't care if they were more powerful than he was. He risked his life for the liberation of our country and despaired as we stumbled and as we lost our way. It is the greatest tragedy to have lost him, particularly at this time, as we strive to return to a path of integrity, of selfless service, and of transformation.